Dude, I honestly gotta get a match. Oh! <laughs> Yo. Yo. If you guys want to see that full video, link is in the description below. I'm uploading two videos today. This video and the other one is to my second channel. Again, go watch it. Link is down below. Go subscribe because I'm going to actually be uploading a lot more on my second channel. I mean, you can just, you know, not subscribe if you want. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you can just like unsubscribe from this channel if you want. I mean, it's like, it's whatever. But yeah, no, that video is actually hilarious. But anyways, so a couple weeks ago, I made a video where I gave King Silas some joke ideas, but I asked you guys for some real ideas to the game and you guys gave me so many awesome ideas. So I wanted to make this video. Hopefully someone from King Silas sees this. I mean, probably not, but like, you know, it'd be cool if they did. But you guys had some some really good ideas and I wanted to share a couple of them so uh the first one comes from Megan and she says I think they should make a way for you to message your friends when they're offline so that the next time they log in they can see your message I think this is a fantastic idea what I really think they should do though because like in my case if they added that I would I'd probably get spammed with messages when I got back online but what I think they should do is just add a new tab in your backpack where you can have messages so you can send people messages sort of like to like an inbox it's basically like an you know like an in-game email sort of thing I think that'd be a great idea I mean there's obviously multiple ways you could implement it, but I think that is a fantastic idea. So the next one comes from Maria, and she basically says there should be more customization in the game, especially when you make your character. I completely agree. I mean, I understand this game was made in 2008, and back when it first came out, there was actually a fair amount of customization in the game. Like, compared to other games, there was actually a lot in the game already, but it's 2017 now. It's, it's been nine years, so I think, I think it might be time to slightly revamp the character customization. They don't really have to add a lot. I think, you know, being able to type in your own name would be fine but at the same time honestly if they just added more options i think it would be fine i think they just add more options there's like so many online dictionary things that have different names that you can do and they're all pre-approved they should just sync it up to one of those and then they'd be able to use like a ton of different names but honestly the name thing is not really a huge deal for me i think what's way more important that they need to do is add more customization because like now on all these games now you can like instead of choosing all these preset stuff you can actually adjust it yourself and i don't know i mean i don't really know how much i care about that honestly but i think it'd be cool if they added at least a few more presets a little bit more customization with the hair and just Overall, in general, I think the customization could go further because it's just, it, it really wouldn't be that hard. And I think it would be a great addition to the game, especially because when you're having people start the game, it, it just doesn't really stack up to other games because like you go into so many other games out there now and like the customization when you first start the game is crazy. And to start it off, if you play the game for a while, you realize it doesn't really matter that much. But if you're just starting the game now in 2017 and you see that basic customization, like I think that's going to turn a lot of people off. So it might be, you know, even a good, it might even be a good financial investment. You get a lot more people to play. The next one comes from Miles and oh my God. Please, Kings, please, it's been nine years, please, <laughs> new loading screen pictures, that, this is a fantastic idea, and this needs to be added to the game, it's such an easy thing to do, just add like five other ones, just enough to spice it up, and we will be happy, just please like it is it's been too long the thing is like for me my computer's pretty fast so i really don't have to look at the loading screens but like when i work on my laptop and i know other people that have slower computers please kings out please just add like five other ones the other thing that could be cool is if they added like some sort of mini mini game while you're waiting but at the same time i feel like the loading screen isn't really long enough for that to work like i know you know google chrome has that little you know like i don't know what it's called like the, the dinosaur game that you like the, the jump guy i know something like that could be kind of fun but at the same time i don't know if it's long enough to even warrant that but just please just please add some other ones it's so easy it's so easy i'll send you concept arts just add a couple more the next one comes from Prince Flame, and he says, being able to trade gear and other stuff. Now, he was not the only person that said this. I got about 50 comments of people telling me that there should be gear trading in the game. And it's been something that people have talked about for a very long time, and it's been sort of controversial. Con 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 controversial. It's been sort of controversial, and why does my pet trigger vary so much more in PvE than in PvP? Like, if it triggered this much in PvP, I would be invincible. Anyway, it's been sort of a controversial topic for a while, and I've heard a lot of different opinions on it. I'll go ahead and give my personal opinion. Again, this is my personal opinion. Take it with a grain of salt, please. You're welcome to have your own opinion. But in my opinion, I really don't agree with a full-out gear trading system, just because I feel like that would involve a lot of blackmail. It would also, you know, give an unfair advantage 
advantage to a lot of players that had friends. I could see it messing with the PvP scene in a lot of ways, and just the other thing is that King's Isle hasn't added it to the game, and they obviously are aware of this, and the other games have gear trading systems, but this game doesn't, and I know it's for a reason. It's probably for multiple reasons. The other thing is that personally, I don't really think we need it. Like, obviously it'd be nice, but at the same time, it's not really fun to go through a game and just have someone else give you all the stuff that you need. But, but, okay, hear me out for one second. I do, I do have one suggestion. Unlike Pirate 101, where you all get the same drops, at the end of the battle, everyone gets different drops. For example, if you're doing Darkmoor, some people are going to get the Athene, some people aren't. Here's one suggestion that I have. At the end of a battle, and at the end of the battle only, you can opt to trade some of your drops that you got to other players. Just for that battle, but say you're doing a boss and you get the thing that your friend wanted, you can give it to them. Like, say you're farming for the Alpha and Omega ring, right? And your friend gets three of them, but if you were able to trade them, then the first time your friend got one, he could just trade it to you, and it'd be so much easier. And that way, it wouldn't be, like, super overpowered. You'd have just people gifting the other people, like, the entire game. But if you're farming with your friend, at least, it'd be, like, a nice way to not have to farm for quite as long. It'd also be a great reason to farm with friends. Like, that would be such a good idea. you get so many more people playing together because then you could share drops. It'd also be nice, too, in general, because you could just trade other gear to your lower-level character so we could get more gold, but it's not like you're just giving him free stuff. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. I think that would be a really good idea that wouldn't, you know, completely add... You know, I think, I think full-out gear trading in the game is not really what we need. But I certainly think that being able to trade gear after the battle would actually be a really good idea. Now, the last suggestion comes from Blake himself, and this was actually my idea. I just sort of forgot to put it in my other video. This is something that I came up with while I was streaming, and I actually think it's a great idea, and I'll tell you guys why. So why do I think it's worth revamping Wizard City? Well, here's why. Again, like I say with the character customization thing, it's a huge turnoff to new players, especially in 2017, when you're competing against other games that have these crazy customization stuff. The other hugest problem with this game is Wizard City. I love Wizard City. I personally love the art style. I have no issues with it, but that's because I played the game for so long and I love the game and, you know, simple graphics aren't really going to turn me off. If you look at the difference between Wizard City and, like, Polaris or Mirage, like, it's crazy. So for veteran players, it's really not going to matter what Wizard City looks like because to us it doesn't really matter. But if you have a ton of new players coming into the game that, you know, don't have any friends that play it or anything, they're gonna see two things. Basic character customization and pretty bad graphics for the first world. Those two things could stop a lot of players from getting into the game. What do I mean by revamping Wizard City? I just mean retexture it. Like I know, as I said, I've made video games before, get a few artists on it for a couple days, they can completely revamp the entire thing, it would look so much better, just upgrade the textures a little bit, make it look more like Polaris. If you really want to, add a little bit more flair to it, you know, maybe add add a few more things here and there just to make it look more modern. What this is going to do is it's going to get new players way more hyped to play the game because you're going to be like, oh wow, they actually have good customization and the first world looks really nice. But that's just my two cents. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but I really do think that would be a good idea. Like, upgraded customization and revamp Wizard City. Both of those things are really small investments, like seriously. Have a couple people make new facial expressions, have a couple people add new names and revamp Wizard City. It's really not going to cost that much but I honestly think that the impact would be huge. Plus, for some of us veteran players, it would be really refreshing to have sort of a slightly upgraded Wizard City. Seriously, if that's even too much, just revamp the commons. Just anything to pull in new players more, because it would also be nice for us, because I'd love to have some new people play this game. I'm sick of waiting, you know, an hour and a half to get PvP matches sometimes. But yeah, guys, that is about going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, please let me know in the comments what you think about this stuff. If you like it, if you hate it, if you have other suggestions, please let me know. Heck, if I get enough suggestions, I might make a part three to this video. So let me know what other stuff you guys want to see added to the game in the comments below. But other than that, guys, be sure to check out that video to my second channel. Link is below. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy, please feel free to leave a like. And uh, if you did enjoy, I'll catch you all in my next video. We're also getting really close to 4,000 subscribers, so my next video is probably going to be my 4,000 subscriber video. It's going to be lit. Okay, bye. I've been following your trail. You don't hide it well. Yeah, I should have played it safe. Kept my eye on you. But I didn't. Now your venom's in my bloodstream. Yeah, you got me exposed. Then you dug deep. Ooh. Cobra, Cobra. Cold-blooded, no love. I let you in. Shed my skin. Cobra, cobra. Cold-blooded, no love. I let you in. Oh, my Yeti's gonna be so rash.